To get the right texture for bread, bakers knead the dough, let it rise, then shape it before it goes into the oven. The same yeast that makes bread rise could help scientists learn how to build human DNA from scratch. Yeast is the first domesticated microorganism. Today we have yeast that are being used to produce vaccines, uh, compounds, uh, medicines, and even fuels. The yeast genome is also bigger and more complex than the DNA of simple viruses and bacteria. Now New York University scientist Jeff Buka and an international scientific team are looking beyond just altering the DNA of yeast, they are looking to redesign it from the start. Rather than starting with what exists in nature and making changes to see what happens, we can do this bottom-up approach where we design whole systems from scratch and see if they work as we predict. The process to create new yeast DNA involves using a computer program to alter its natural sequence. In this example, researchers tell the computer every time it sees the letter sequence T-A-G at the end of a gene to change it to T-A-A. This new sequence is then used as a blueprint to build artificial DNA that's inserted into yeast cells for monitoring. The researchers watch to make sure the yeast still is growing and functioning properly with the new sequence. The lesson from yeast may help scientists redesign human DNA, not to make people, but to insert in human cells for research and medical advances. But bioethicists like Lori Zola find that idea unsettling. So it would be extremely tempting, and I think troubling, if they made uh, one cell um, and made it a master cell, and then they'd want to see if it worked, meaning would it divide? Would it multiply? Would it replicate itself? Does the DNA work? And that, of course, could lead quite easily to the creation of a human being. Buka and his team see the project as a way to make improvements in the field of medicine and agriculture. You can see they can come. Biologist June Medford is paying box. close attention. She's trying to genetically engineer slightly more complicated plant DNA to do things like detect pollution and explosives possibly leading to bomb-sniffing plants one day. We've basically encoded a computerized detection technology in plants. So now, if you want to detect something like a bomb in an airport, we can make a plant do that. And our, our sensitivity is about down to that of a dog, so very, very sensitive. While the debate over redesigning DNA will only heat up, these longtime bakers already know the importance of yeast. So I really think it's fantastic that here this, this microbe that we've used to nourish ourselves for thousands of years now will be used in more medical research to understand the human DNA. Opening the doors to a new frontier of genetic study. Kathy Young, Associated Press.